Hey, this is Robbie. In this video, I'll take you through a quick demo of Imai, the most advanced influencer discovery platform in the world. We have the largest influencer database on the planet with over 240 million influencers worldwide. We also use AI and machine learning to deliver you the most accurate and comprehensive data on every influencer. If you're an agency or a brand that use influencers in your campaign, then you know that the most deciding factor for a successful campaign is finding the right influencers that can actually convert to sales. Our platform will help you quickly and easily filter, discover, and reach out to the influencers that will make your campaign successful. So now I'm going to show you how EMI actually works. This is the main page where we find influencers. You can choose here from six different platforms, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. You can find specific influencers using their URL, their ID, or their handle, or you can discover them using the filters you see right here. So let's start off by using a simple filter, the location filter. Here I can choose whether to filter based on the influencer's location or their audience's location. So for example, let's say that I'm looking for influencers in the United States. So I can basically choose influencers where at least 40% of their audience is located in the United States. Now, this will work for you with any country. So for example, let's say that I'm running a campaign in the Philippines. I just choose uh, influencers where at least 40% of their campaign is, of their audience is in the Philippines. And as you can see, I'll immediately get results uh, that are exactly accurate to that. I can basically start to filter out based on interest. So for example, 40% of the audience is interested in clothes, shoes, etc. basically fashion. And also, let's say that I'm primarily searching for female influencers. So in this case, instead of the audience, I'm going to filter based on the influence gender, influencer's gender. And again, I can go much, much deeper than that. I can go based on ethnicity, which brands they're associated with, languages that they speak. We can go for keywords, bios, followers. We can go for verified and also hashtags. So basically, you have a very, very wide ability to play here. And you can see here that we found 50,000 influencers that correspond to the search. So again, a campaign, 40% Philippine, 40% uh, from fashion interest, and all female influencers. So I'm going to go through the first influencer that I found here. And you can see here that 50% of the audience is Philippine, and 50% of the audience is interested in fashion. So all I have to do is click on Analyze. So you can see here I have my report now. Uh, I can see here the contact detail of the influencer, in this case, only the email, but in many cases, we also have their phone number directly. You have here her Instagram, TikTok, and her YouTube account. We can see here the influencer follower breakdown to know more about what percentage of their followers are other influencers, people with over 5,000 followers, and how many of them are likely to be fake or bots. We have the audience credibility score. We show you the post data from views to likes to average comments. We give you an estimation of how much a post would cost with this influencer, as well as what you can expect in terms of cost per engagement and cost per click. We show you their median engagement, uh, their, their engagement versus the median. We show you here the reels data, as well as give them what we call an EMI score, which I believe is the most important data point here on the page. So the EMI score is from 0 to 100, and this is how we basically use AI to give you a final score on the influencer based on many pros and cons. So you can see here exactly how we got to the score. And here you can see a topic sensor. So by the way, 97 is obviously very, very high, which means a very, very high quality influencer. You can see here that people who talk about similar topics to this influencer, you can use the topic sensor here to basically discover more influencers that you're looking for. You can see which popular uh, hashtags they use, which popular mentions they use, what are they interested in personally, which brand they are affiliated with, and more breakdown about their audience from age to gender to location to ethnicity, country, language, uh, their reachability, meaning how big their audience is on their own in terms of followers. Uh, how many percentage of people are following them. By the way, at any point, you can click here on the question mark to learn more about the stat that you're looking at. You can see here also uh, what percentage of their audience is interested in what, uh, again, which brands they're associated with, their popular posts, as well as their sponsored posts. So let's say that I like this influencer and I'd like to add her to my campaigns. All I have to do is click on add to list and I can then click on the plus icon and you can see that I have a new list. Now all I have to do is click on new list and she will be automatically added. I can also click on download report, by the way, and download the report as both a PDF as well as a JSON if you're using an API. 
I can then go to lists here and I'll see the influencer on this list. For example, what I can do here is I can call this uh, Philippines Fashion Women campaign. And this will be the list here for, for this topic. I can then go back here and I can search for another influencer. All right, now let's say that I like this influencer and I want to add her to my campaigns too. As you can see, she also has a very high score. So all I have to do is click here on add to list and I click on the list and now she was added. Now I can actually go to lists. I can click on list analyze here and I can see stats for what engagement I can expect from my campaigns. If I do, for example, four stories, four posts and two reels. So you can see, I can see the expected exposure, the expected engagement, and the breakdown of the audience, as well as the unique reach of my audience based on overlap. I can also click here to customize the KPIs that I can see here. So for example, I can see only platform status and location, or I can choose whatever I want to see. I can also click on share list and then basically click here. And now I have a link which I can use to share with my clients. So I can upload a logo to add it to this link. And then when I share it to my clients, they'll basically see this page. And they can choose to either approve the influencer. So for example, I like this one, comment, or they can say, I don't like this one, comment. And when I go back to my, um, to my list here and I refresh, I can see which ones were approved and the comment as well as which ones were disapproved. I can also share the list with my team. Uh, and then I'm basically able to work on it together with my team. Also, you can go to audience reports to see the history of reports that you've made on all platforms, as well as click on the social listening feature to see which hashtags and which mentions perform the best to learn more about your competitors and see what kind of campaigns are going to be the most popular and the most successful to you currently. So this was a quick demo of EMI, our influencer discovery platform. You can sign up for free and try it out, or you can go to emai.co. And then when you sign up, you can click on subscriptions and settings. And you can see our different packages, which start as low as $20 a month with no commitment. So I highly recommend that you try it out. And if you're interested in a demo with more free credits, reach out to me personally, and I'll be happy to give it to you. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you so much.